guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 5 of Ruby Ice Queendom, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> See, my thing is, like, hopefully, because, see, now that, like, Ruby got caught by Weiss in last week's episode, is, is Blake and Yang, are they gonna come to save, like, Ruby? There, there's so many unanswered questions in an episode, like, that, you know, uh, oh, jeez, it's like, what the fuck is going on right now? And then, you know, you got me, where I'm like, yeah. As someone who loved this series dear to her fucking heart and you're getting all this new stuff and you're like, bruh, bruh, what are they going to do? How are they going to get Weiss out of this shit? <laughs> like, oh. But I still do like the fact that, you know, we get to see more um, development in this series because I think that was something that... It was a little nitpick that I had about the original because sometimes like it went too fast on some things and the fact that we're getting moments where it's like oh hey even though this is filler this is still important to Weiss as a character to Ruby as a character who Blake and Lang uh, Yang as characters as well. So I mean it's good. I love it. 10 out of 10. Let's go. I mean bitch like mmm. And we can't wake her up from that, right? Because, I mean, I felt like that would fuck that up. do that to her other father figure that's so messed up Yeah, I mean, but at the same time, you almost got caught, which, which is not careless, Ruby. Don't think about that. Mm -mm. You, you could have got hurt really bad, but, you know, thank God you're okay. Exactly. But the thing is, how else are they going to get their undertone on the Okay, negative voice, dark voice. I just want a figure of negative voice, you know, because that's a pretty fit. Like, she, it's a pretty outfit, and I want it. Why don't all three of you just go?
John? Yeah. Oh, I was about to say, yeah, we want to go in too, but like, all y'all cannot go. I can't, my heart. <laughs> I wonder how long they're gonna, you know, have this go. Because, I mean, we've been on this for, like, since episode three, right? And so we're on episode five. And it's 13 episodes, right? Because, I mean, we're already almost halfway done with the series. So it just makes you wonder, like, where we're stopping on this and then where we're gonna continue. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you know, it kind of gives me, like, Spider-Man vibes. Yang. Okay. Now, is the door that Ruby used still there or no? There's a train again. Mm, yeah, the door's still there. Damn it! Maybe so. Well, he is.
I kind of hate the, I, not even kind of, I hate the fact that she sees her mom as a drunk. But the thing is, still, even in the original, well, from where I stopped in the volume, I, we barely really even know anything about her mom. What's a chess piece? What's the chess piece for, though? Of course, she make her like so gorgeous. <laughs> but then why would she have her locked inside? Oh my god, why is See, my thing is, she puts her on this high pedestal because remember, she wanted her all to herself. Remember the first two friggin' episodes and such. But because of the fact is, she's not with her. You're like, oh, hey, mm -hmm, gotta teach her like this. Mm. Could be. Yeah, but how in the world are y'all three gonna get in there? Damn, like hella close. See? Smart!
like hella big. Shit. Remember, you know, mm. exactly. So that you can get closer inside, though. Oh, this is supposed to be like her dorm room. Or really their dorm room. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? There's another one over. Oh, there's a chest piece. Oh! So you need, they need the other one. A fucking course. And of course, it's with fucking life. God damn it, how the hell are y'all supposed to get that shit? I don't think, yeah. How the hell you get here so quickly? Where do you be a guy? <laughs> I mean, yeah, you only used, like, what, two now? So you got ten? Oh. Yeah, and it's with lice. Please don't lose that, I swear to God. 
Because, I mean, come on, this Ruby we talking about. <laughs> She's already here. She just waiting. <laughs> ah, fucking waste, honey. Like, oh, girl, child, <laughs> my baby. <laughs> Oh, because, you, you know, sometimes I got to sit here and think, yeah, yeah, those are her true feelings. But at the same time, yeah, it's how she feels because we haven't had, like, still a moment where her and Blake um, have bonded and such. And that she realizes that her racism that she has towards Blake is wrong and that she, you know, needs to step up from it and, you know, move on it and move on from it to be a better person. And, you know, we all know she does eventually but this is just like we're getting more of it and I'm, I'm honestly so once again glad because it's one of those moments that you we pass through it so quickly in the original series that we don't get like extra things on it and how like Weiss really truly feels about everyone in this group including herself because it's like at the same time she holds herself at a higher power than her uh like position than everyone else how she did that with Pirna and you know she has her sing and have a voice in it while you know the rest of Juniper has just barking like damn dogs and such which is fucked up truly fucked up but like uh, I did not think she was going to catch them by the end of this episode I was expecting it more into next week um yeah do y'all have a plan that is a good episode <laughs> episode title <laughs> because like do y'all even have a plan? What the fuck are they going to do now? I mean, yeah, the, number one, they got to defeat her and get the heck away from her. But it, it's just, in my opinion, I feel like no matter what, they, they got to find that other relic. Either destroy both relics or give one to Weiss and then the other one to Ruby. And then maybe that'll wake her up. I don't know. I have no freaking clue of what in the world they're really gonna do for her but of course we gotta wait until sunday which freaking sucks because it's only fucking monday but by the time y'all see this it might be tuesday or wednesday i don't know depending on how long it takes for everything to edit but i mean yeah it was a good episode very enjoyable i love the fact that you know both blake and yang are now officially helping and we, we're doing this as a team, and it's not just Ruby, because, you know, Ruby, in the way she thinks, like, yes, you need you need Blake and Yang. Be like, hold up, Ruby, you can't use all the damn tokens. Like, yes, because if you use them all, you are stuck there. So what the fuck are you going to do? So I do love the fact that they are also there to help her and to kind of, in a sort of way, guide um, her into the right direction, because that is what a team does. Um, seeing Jennifer and, and Team Jennifer in this episode and kind of expecting them to be like, oh, hey, we want to help too. And we didn't get that. I, I'm not surprised because of the fact is it, it's like, you know, Team Ruby couldn't help them. So why could they help? Why can't, you know, of course, Jun Team Jennifer can't help Ruby and such as a way. This is their mission and they have to be the ones to do it, of course. But yeah, we ain't going to know until Sunday. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction to towards episode 5 of Ruby Ice Kingdom. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all on Sunday for episode 6. Bye, guys.